Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing a size comparison over the two different lens sizes of the American Optical Surmount sunglasses, the 51mm lens size and the 53mm lens size. But first off, thank today's video sponsor on our website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So right here, we have the standard 51mm lens size, and these are in the black and gunmetal colorway. Uh, so of course, like I said, these do have 51 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. Now let's go ahead and pop on the larger size, which has these beautiful chocolate gold uh, frames. And these have 53 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge, the same bridge on both these two frames. And the difference is going to be a two millimeter larger lens size here on the 53 millimeter uh, sunglasses. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little 180 of these frames on the face, and they do look really good. Now let me go ahead and pop back on the standard uh, 51 millimeter lens size and give you guys that 180 of these frames as well. And I think these look a little bit more classy and nice on my face uh, than the large size uh, does in particular. Um, I think this is the size that most people are going to fit is the 51 millimeter lens size. But if you are looking for a more oversized uh, pair of sunglasses, uh, the larger ones definitely look really good as well. They definitely are more bold with their larger styling. And also if you have a big head, you're going to want to stick to the larger lens size, of course, here as well. And they're gonna uh, not wear really small on your face like the 51 millimeter lens size would. Uh, now, as far as the build quality goes, they are built basically the exact same. And there's only a one gram difference between these frames, which I was actually shocked about. I assumed it was gonna be more of like a two or three gram difference, uh, but the standard comes in at 37 grams. And then the larger size comes in at 38 grams, so only a one gram difference, uh, which again, I was pretty shocked at. Now, as far as the temple length goes, both these have 145 millimeter temple length, so one is not longer than the other. Both these frames also do have fully adjustable nose rest as well, so you can completely adjust those to your liking. And as far as coverage from sun goes, uh, I would probably say the standard's a little bit better for my particular face. Still pretty big gap, still at sunlight and unprotected. And then here on the larger lens size, I think there are, again, slightly bigger gaps that let sunlight in unprotected here. So, you know, not the most uh, practical pair of sunglasses, but definitely still uh, do a good job of blocking sun. They just don't offer very good coverage from sun, so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, either way, I am definitely glad they made a larger size of these frames, because a lot of people thought that the 51 millimeter lens size was too small. Uh, and then here with the 53 millimeter lens size, this should basically fit everybody's face uh, really, really well. This frames do have acetate temples, uh, so you can heat these up and there's a metal core through them, so you can heat these up and give them a custom fit to the face. You can bend them out and get a custom adjustment. So if they're a little bit too tight, don't worry about that. You can heat them up and then bend them and adjust them and it's gonna hold the fit uh, pretty well there. If you are interested in these, I'm going to leave a link description below to both the larger and the smaller lens size. Uh, I really do like these frames from American Optical. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful and definitely very, very iconic. And for me personally, I'm definitely going to stick to the uh, smaller lens lens size, which is the 51 millimeter lens size. But let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Which one do you think looks better on my face? Do you guys like the 51 or the 53? Let me know and we can start a conversation in the comment section down below. But that's all you have for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll catch you all in the next one.